Okay, so on my stream today, I came over this post here. So this is uh, in VO3. You can now draw your instructions on the first frame and VO will follow them. So instead of iterating endlessly on perfect prompts, you can now just draw out uh, like you would for a human artist. So in the example they gave here, you can see they drive, they took an arrow here. They do kind of lunar vehicle drives and they have their astronauts here hop into the incoming lunar vehicle. They have the Aurora Borealis effect in the sky and some kind of craft landing here, right? So we can watch, uh, watch this clip. And yeah, you can see, we can clearly see the spacecraft coming in here or the car. We can see the astronauts walking into the car here. And you can see this is landing and we have the northern lights in the sky here. So on stream today, uh, I wanted to try this out. So yeah, gave it a couple of shots and this is how it went. We found out that in VO3, you can do this um, instructions by just making these arrows and just make instruction onto the image. So I thought it was pretty cool. So I just want to explore it a bit more. So we can kind of do female turns around and walks. And we just do this arrow here. And we can do people starts walking. And we can add a new, let's say we draw here. Like an arrow. And we add like a text box. Let's do keep driving. Why? Something like this. So now we kind of have an image with some instructions. I'm going to download this. So we have this image here. So we have some instructions. She's going to turn around. A Jeep is going to drive by here and people starts walking. So if we go to flow now and we do frames to video, I can upload this, right? So we have the image. So all I did in the prompt was just execute. That is the only prompt I did. So we're going to do VO3 fast. I just wanted to see how far we can take this. Basically, we're just going to do, instead of doing text prompts, we're just going to do the prompts onto the image itself. The first frame is going to be, you will see it. The first frame is going to get disrupted, but the other one should work. So you can see now, you can still see the instructions here, but I think when we play this now, these are gonna disappear. All right, and we can see the Jeep coming in, she's turning around, and the people are walking. So that works pretty good, right? The Jeep comes in this angle. She I guess she turns around the other way. But pretty good. I was just wondering, what can I exactly do with this? I wanted to see if I do something like, what if I do, let's say we did this, right? Down here, and we do, uh, what is it called? Asteroid, meteor. Strikes the ground. I just want to see how far we can take this. So we have a meter that's going to come in from the left here and strikes the ground. Turns around and runs. That's right. People panics. People in panic. Let's see what happens. Meteor strikes the ground. People panic. She turns around and runs. Again, I'm just going to do execute. Uh, in my testing this morning, I created uh, this one. I can just play this. So this has uh, AI music and just VO3. So we can uh, watch this. Where did you go? I didn't even know you were leaving. Eight arms, each with a mind of its own. But the ninth brain coordinates everything. Individual skills are powerful, but shared knowledge creates value.
Go to the ninthbrain.com to apply now. Guess I was only dreaming. Yeah, that was that was um, one of the videos I created. Yeah, it's pretty good. And I did this one. We can watch this too. This was like a horror movie. Where did you go? I didn't even know that you were leaving. Yeah, that was pretty good too. I had a lot of fun with this. So what did you use for sound effects and the songs? So I just used Suno for the sound songs, Suno.ai. And for sound effects, I just used um, Eleven Labs sound effects. Sound effects. Works pretty good. So let's see now. So here we instructed Meteor strikes the ground she to turn around and people in panic yeah, that's pretty good yeah that works hello Kyle nice to see you again and I had this logo here, so what I tested was, I just drew around this, and I said, don't change the text, and I just did like an arrow here, and I think I pointed at this, digital circuit flashing green, and I think the final thing I did was an arrow to this tentacles here, and I said, animate the arms something like this okay so let's see now so this was the one where we did don't change the text animate arms and flashing that was much better yeah that was pretty good yeah so if you want to dive deeper into AI video, uh, I have my video course, so this is the AIvideocourse.com where I kind of try to dive deeper into how you can master, especially focus on viral AI videos and you can start generating some passive income on every source so you can use the results you get into pro promoting your product. You can see I have a test account there, we have some great results lately. So this video got 920,000 views, this got is at 252,000 views now, uh, 10,000 likes, and you can see we are kind of finding some ways to use AI videos here to produce uh, viral content. So if you go to kind of the dashboard, so I try to do one new module each week. So the latest one was the VO3 image to video. This is kind of a huge update. And probably tomorrow I'm going to do a new update where I kind of dive a bit deeper into how to generate viral content. So we'll see about that. So yeah, check it out, theaivideocourse.com if you want to dive deeper into AI video.